With just two days to the expiration of the June 17 deadline given by INEC to political parties to submit names of presidential and vice presidential candidates, pressure mounts more than ever. While the likes of Governor Nasir El Rufai, Abubakar Badaru, are in contention for the VP slot of the ruling APC, those in line for the PDP's vice presidential slot include Governor Yusum Wike of River State and former Senate President Ken Inamani. But beyond this, what will inform these major parties' selection of a running mate? To discuss this further, I'm now being joined by Libero Soshoma, who is a public affairs analyst and a legal practitioner. Thank you very much for joining us as always. Uh, let's begin with the APC. Political watchers and stakeholders are leaning towards a Muslim Muslim ticket for the APC. But how critical is this strategy to the aspiration of the ruling party to retain power in the forthcoming polls? Um. Thank you, uh, Falashade. Uh, first and foremost, uh, politicians will always do their thing. Uh, whatever will make them win, it is left for the people to now decide what they want to do, whether to vote in that candidate or not. Uh, so for the politicians, they feel that um, their influence is not strong enough when it comes to religion. And that um, if it did not, you know, you have a lot of liberal uh, Christians and Muslims in the South, but in the North, um, there are the Islam is more, more, much more stronger in the North, you know, and it is always played with politics in the, in the North than in the South. And so, what the politicians are saying now is that, um, unlike what happened in the South, where uh, a Hitato or known or Shibanjo was nominated by Bola Ahmed Tinubu, and then the party in the South threw their weight behind him, you know, campaigned about his competence. In the North, that the politicians will not be able to do that. Once the person is from the minority, they will not be able to sell him. That is what they are saying. But the question would be, if this were a Christian, Christian ticket, will the not the politicians today who are talking about competence, who are talking about um, the fact that it's all about winning election, we they still insist that we should talk about competence. The answer is no. They will tell you that um, Christianity is a minority religion in the North. And so if they feed a Christian candidate from the North, they will still not win a religion, uh, uh, the vote of the Northern majority. Assuming that you have a Christian you know, candidate from the South. Take, for example, the greatest damage that a Peter Obi, for example, can do to himself, being a Christian from the South, is to take a Christian from the North. The, the same people that are talking about um, uh, religion today, they're talking about competence, will be the first to tell him that he will not win election because of partly that he's seen as a Christian agenda. So all of this ordinarily, ought not to have been issues if truly we are playing politics as it should be played. But unfortunately, the, the, the antecedent of the present government uh, coupled with the event that played out in the dying days of Gulag Jonathan's administration, you know, has contributed largely and made religion, you know, elevated religion, you know, to the national discourse in as far as election is concerned. And people are now beginning to ask if the killings PDP has assured that Atiku's running mate uh, will be announced by Thursday. Uh, what strategy do you think uh, will be adopted by the opposition? Yeah, I, I have uh, looked at, I've listened to previous videos by uh, Governor Yes of Wiki of River State uh, saying that uh, he wasn't in the race to com com campaign for the vice presidential slot, but haven't been defeated in the primaries. I think the best bet for them would be um, Wiki enjoys the larger support of the people, having been a voice for the seemingly voice for, you know, the oppressed against um, the antics and um, the high handedness of this government, even though he also has some, you know, high handed elements uh, or behavior in him. So he enjoys massive support among in the South, uh, also coupled with the fact that he has performed. Every other person in the South, you know, and then also he had um, it's he 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 he, he had a deep pocket, you know. Every other candidate from the South will not match 
you know, Governor, and we, yes, sir, we can, in considering, you know, the issue of um, a, a competent and um, uh, a running mate, who is competent, who is capable, and who will be able to win vote. Because what the politicians are basically telling you now is all about winning vote. Wiki has a support base in the South massively. And because this election, the South South might be the deciding factor in the election. Because now you have a Peter B, you know, from the Southeast, who is gan uh, uh, gathering support by the day. You have um, Atiku from the North, and then you have Bola Ahmed Tinubu from the Southwest. Both of all of these three candidates are very strong in the region where they are from. And so the South South, you know, and the middle bed might be the deciding force. And so if you pick a candidate like Wiki, you know, of the PDP from uh, the South South, who also enjoys his support and has a, a deep pocket from that region, he would, I know they will be able to go far and, 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 and put the South, South South, you know, comfortably in their kitty. Well, indeed, but, it should be Shoma, but I guess uh, we still need to wait till the 17th uh, to know what this part is will decide on. But uh, it's been a pleasure having you. Thank you very much for your contribution.